Welcome to Cannery Wharf. In this video, we're gonna take a tour of the new district, Wood Wharf, that just recently opened, and I've picked the most beautiful sunny day for it. We're starting the walk just outside Dollar Bay, which is in fact a building I was once on one of the top floors and shot some time lapses uh, towards the west, where you can see Woodworth not being there just yet, as well as towards the east and the O2, and it's a fantastic view. Despite being from a penthouse apartment that none of the other residents of the building get to enjoy, but we'll get to that later. And as I'm filming this on Father's Day, today I got the great privilege of being joined by my two lovely children, Olivia and Alex as otherwise they would just be home playing games. But today, today they're on a walk with me. Oh, I'm taller than you, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> and just outside of Dollar Bay, from this corner, I think, is a fantastic view of skyscrapers reflecting in the water. And if you catch this canal being flat with no wind and no ducks, you get some awesome reflections. I need to come back here for a time lapse definitely because even though that time lapse from the top was cool this one i think is equally good if not better briefly about woodworth the area is reclaimed land after old industrial estates that you could see in the previous time lapse and the land now that they've actually added to the industrial estate stretches from one park drive which is the free section skyscraper and obviously my favorite across here that still a lot is to be built and currently ends with these brown sort of 10 floor buildings right next to Preston Road so quite a large area mainly of residential apartments but also some commercial buildings so a residential commercial mix and there's a park like a river sidewalk canal sidewalk there that we're gonna get to we're currently walking along Thames Quay which is this really nice straight path along the canal, along the dock. Uh, probably quite good for a hyperlapse that I might come back one day. But from this side of the dock, the canal, I can actually see that the park looks really nice. I've seen a couple of friends share photos from there on a nice sunny day. But yeah, this will be the first time we're gonna be visiting the Woodworth's dock side, canal side park that has a lot of benches and looks really nice from here. So right at the end of the Thames Key you can actually see the gap between the scalpel and the cheese grater just there next to Landmark Pinnacle. It's a pretty cool composition if you had a longer lens, but today I don't. Let me tell you why. As you may or may not know, usually I carry at least two bodies and multiple of lenses in my huge backpack. But today I decided not to, and I took one body and one lens and decided to challenge myself to shoot some architecture and do this vlog just with this setup. In my backpack, I've got two bottles of juices, some snacks and a tripod and a filter and batteries and stuff like that. But still, it is the lightest setup that I've ever had. I'm actually shooting on the Z7 II that's currently on loan to me from Nikon and I've got my Lyoa 12mm f2.8 lens Hence, even a 12 millimeter in this vlog style, um, you get some background separation, which is pretty cool. And I got the UU rig 45 degree mirror, so I can actually see that I'm in focus, as well as for sound, I'm using the Synco G2A2 with a lavalier connected here, and the receiver is attached to the UU rig 45 degree mirror. So it's a nice and compact setup, and this 12 millimeter lens allows me also to take some cool architecture one wide-angle photos and because I'm shooting on the Z7 II and it's a 45 megapixel sensor I've got plenty of room to crop in as if I was shifting but I'm not I'm only gonna be cropping in on the photo so for a one lens one body setup it's pretty decent and as we're standing right next to the Pan Peninsula, some of you may know that there used to be the attic, a uh, rooftop bar, I think it's called slightly differently now. Uh, and this gives me a chance to show you a time lapse that I shot from the, I think from 2017, that I wasn't doing many vlogs back then, so I never got to share it with you. So this is the perfect opportunity. We're currently outside of South Key Plaza, which is another one of these really super tall, uh, really cool skyscrapers 
fully residential one but at this corner I can actually see arena tower and that's another tower that I've done a couple of time lapses at and never got to share them so here they are view from the arena tower must be one of my top 10 favorite views in all of london because of the elevation and where it is that you can see the whole of canary wharf as well as towards the city of london this view would have changed since all the towers that i'm showing you in this video has sprung since i was shooting these time lapses but this makes me think that it's actually now even better than when i shot this It will actually take a little bit of time before we get to Woodworth, but now we're crossing through the South Quay footbridge, which is this really cool footbridge. I do like it. I think you can swivel on this middle bit if there needs to be any boats to cross, so then it disconnects the two sides of the dock. Uh, but yeah, at the moment it's open, it's mostly open. It is a really cool bridge, very noisy though. Canary Wharf always was this commercial area that on a weekend it was dead but I'm actually positively surprised of the transformation that's going through where now I'm here on a Sunday there's actually quite a lot of people walking around probably visiting shops and just enjoying the dockside uh, footpaths which makes a completely different spin to this very financial commercial area that I really like. And this corner used to be the end of Canary Wharf because you just couldn't go any further that way. It was all industrial. And now we're almost getting to Wood Wharf. We just have to cross that new bridge that I haven't crossed before. This is probably the best view that we're gonna get of One Park Drive, which is designed by Herzog and Demuron, the famous architect responsible for some really cool pieces of architecture around the world. And this is the first one in Canary Wharf. I absolutely love the three sections that probably includes three different types of apartments, but definitely the three different types of balconies that you get in the tower as a resident. There's just one massive flaw to the whole design of this building. You only get to see the view from your balcony because there's no rooftop or residential areas within the building other than the lounge at the bottom one or two floors which is quite sad unfortunately and even though there is already quite a few skyscrapers in the area this cgi tells me that there's still loads of really tall skyscrapers to be built especially along the dock here so eventually the walk will be able to take you along this dock all the way to the blue bridge but this valley of the docks gonna look really cool some of the buildings yes they do have residential balconies and terraces as you can see that way the one behind one park drive but it's barely at like third of the building you can see the tall tower goes quite far beyond that rooftop terrace and there is nothing at the top so the residents can only actually visit this level of the terrace and we're almost about to cross the bridge that i've never crossed but we just noticed some cool colorful stuff so as i'm with the kids let's go and see it first i was dead sure this is something by camille walala but it's not it turns out to be a sun pavilion by morag Myerskow. similar style but it's cool it's funky Okay, this is exciting. First time visiting Wood Wharf. Let's cross the bridge. And if you see that cool looking diamond shape uh, cladding skyscraper at the end, that's Newfoundland. And it's also one of these skyscrapers that I got to go to the top and shoot some time lapses 
And this was actually my second visit. The first time around I visited Newfoundland when it was still in construction and I got to visit about half of the skyscrapers maximum height and now that I got to go to the top and shot these time lapses from day to night it was absolutely phenomenal. The view towards how the river bends in central London and all the bridges being illuminated was just one of my favorite. An epic view towards Tower Bridge as well. The only thing that didn't work out on the day was the weather because the day to night transition was a bit grey but I also loved how you could see the planes landing at Heathrow it's just a view that can't be replicated it's one of a kind the city from there looks absolutely stunning these statues are ginormous this lady is about a head taller than me and I am six foot three, six foot one? No, I don't know. I don't know, I always always centimeters because I come from the mainland Europe and I'm 186, but they are at least two meters tall. And look at this guy. I just checked, I'm six foot one. 186 centimeters is six foot one. And now we're entering the Harbour Key Gardens, a small garden. Some pretty cool interactive artwork here that you can play around with and do things with your family. So definitely worth coming even just for that. That's a pretty cool exercising playground for children as well as for adults. I can't do a pull up though. It's something I've been trying to do for ages, but I still can't do it. Three, two, one. And this will be eventually something that will be there. Seeing this view is pretty cool as it's not an angle I've seen before because where we're standing right now it just used to be the dock here before and actually that reminds me I flew a open door helicopter once oh, many years ago probably four years ago and we were right above the O2 where I got this view. So here's some of the footage from that helicopter trip and it being an open door helicopter ride, it was an experience like no other. I honestly think it must have been one of my coolest, scariest, most daredevil experiences in London ever, even though it was completely safe. And the views you could see just without the window, just clean open air was spectacular. I gotta admit, I really like this canal dock footpath here around the Harbour Quay uh, Gardens. It's nicely designed, it looks pretty because it's probably also brand new. But if I could imagine myself here on a nice, lovely sunny day, it would be pretty cool. small playground for the little ones too. Hello. Hello. Hello Alex, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, can you hear me? And we finally got to the entrance of One Park Drive. And this skyscraper, I always tried to shoot from wherever I was outside of the Isle of Dogs. And I shot it with telephoto lenses, but up close, it looks even better than it is from far away, in my opinion. I think in the future, the gardens and the walk around Woodworth will actually extend around One Park Drive, but this is at the moment where it's finishing. 
and actually to be standing right underneath One Park Drive for the first time is so unreal. I love this skyscraper, the, the three parts to it make it totally stand out amongst all other London skyscrapers. And even this building, 10 George Street, a cool looking skyscraper. However, again, only the residents at the top get to see the top floor view. I wish there was more companies that would just reserve the top floor as a viewing gallery for all the residents throughout the building and their guests. These are the kind of buildings I like most. Now we keep on walking around the open part of Woodworth and I wonder if we can get to closer to these new buildings, but I don't think they're open just yet, so we might not be able to. Okay, that's cool. We can actually walk this way. We are walking next to Timber Key, it looks like it's called, and there's this new path that connects Woodworth all the way there. How cool is that? Let's go. This building, even though I don't know its name, appears to be finished, but I don't think any residents moved in yet. You don't want to go with the sand? No? Alright, okay. I don't like it when the sand... was a little bit of a dead end so far quite a lot is closed around here and there's just one-way systems to go to places so we're gonna go around the other side of the building I don't know what this building will be but I really do like the yellow window accent there I like the fact that they left these three cranes here because it is heritage of Canary Wharf, what it used to be. Uh, shipping containers or ships from the Canary Islands, as far as I know, used to come here and offload their goods and it was mainly fruits, I guess, from the Canary Islands, hence Canary Wharf. And here on the Blue Bridge is where our walk ends today, as it's pretty much where we started, right next to Dollar Bay. It's a quite nosy place to finish the vlog as it's a main road, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, exploration walk and seeing some of the new architecture around the Woodworth that's just newly been open. I've never been here, so I enjoyed walking around and showing these views and architectural styles with you. Hopefully my kids also enjoyed the walk on Father's Day with me. Yeah. No pressure, yes. Okay. Of course yeah. they did, of course they did. Anyway. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Check out my Instagram for posts from today. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.